Hi, I'm Jelaine Hickson. I'm talking to you today just south of Lamar, Colorado. In 2003, our family engaged in a contract with the state of Colorado to do a conservation easement. And so you're asking, what is a conservation easement? Well, a conservation easement is when you put a deed restriction on your land that you promise never ever to develop it. So never in my lifetime, nor in any of my heirs' lifetime, or anybody who may ever purchases this land, they can never develop it. It must remain in the same state as it is today. Uh, I'm standing on the conservation easement. As you can see, there's development on either side of it. Uh, we have a golf course over here, <laughs> unfortunately a junkyard, and we're right next to the U.S. Highway 287. And uh, this land is prime development property. We have water taps, utilities, everything right here ready for development. But we didn't want to develop it. And in 2003, we were in the middle of a horrible drought, and which still continues today actually. But in 2003, our family was facing bankruptcy. We had a ton of debt. And when we heard about the conservation easement program, we thought, wow, maybe this is a solution and maybe this is the answer to our prayers. We actually considered it might just be the blessing that we had been hoping for. When you put the deed restriction on, on your land, um, in exchange for that, you are given tax credits. That creates tax credits. And in 2003, uh, the law was such that if you had tax credits, um, you could either use them for your own personal tax deductions or you could sell them to other people who could use those to reduce their tax debt. Well, we didn't have enough income to use those tax credits, so we sold those tax credits to more wealthy people and used that money to pay off debt. And all of that money went to pay off fertilizer bills and fuel bills, um, seed, land notes, you name it. We, we use that money to reduce our debt on the, on the farm and to keep us in operation and preserve our, our family farm. Our family's been in agriculture for almost a hundred years. My great-grandparents came to this area in, in 1903 and our family has been in agriculture ever since. Well the problem begins in about 2004 um, when the state of Colorado and slash the state of Colorado first told us that the conservation easement had no value and they in turn turned it over to the IRS to um, continue the audit. So thus we have been under audit now with the IRS for over five years and I tell you five years is a long time to be under audit with the IRS. It has been five years of hell of mental and physical and emotional stress and it continues today. Um, we expect a letter at any point in time from the government that will demand that we pay back all of the state tax credits plus six years penalty and interest. Now that exceeds, the amount they're asking for exceeds 2.5 times of the amount that we ever, that we ever gained. Uh, it is very distressing to us whenever we engaged in the conservation easement. We hired attorneys, um, a state certified appraiser, a biologist, a geologist, CPAs, more attorneys to make sure that we had dotted every I and crossed every T to comply with the state law. And we did. We, did, we complied with every single rule and regulation and law that was on the books. Well, now they say in 2009, what they're actually trying to do is change the laws in 2009 and apply those retroactively, thus telling us that we must now pay back all of the tax credits. Again, that's two, now two, the original tax credits that we sold plus six years penalty and interest is 2.5 times the value we ever received. Plus, if I could miraculously win the lottery tomorrow and actually just pay it off, I still have the deed restriction on this land. I mean, it, it, is, it is forever in perpetuity that you always have this deed restriction on your land and it cannot be removed. So, 
we're asking we're asking for help we need your help this problem is now affecting about three or four hundred landowners in Colorado that's that's the start of it eventually it could affect all 3,000 conservation easements in Colorado but right now there's three to four hundred farmers and ranchers landowners who are hard we're facing bankruptcy all because we trusted our government the state of Colorado but the state of Colorado now has breached the contracts and are asking us to to, to hold the bag for the whole problem so we're asking you to help us write letters email fax Governor Ritter our congressmen senators President Barack Obama let people know how devastating this issue is because it not only affects just our family it also affects hundreds of landowners and that in turn affects entire communities and counties and even banks banks could actually foreclose because of all of the problems that this is creating so we ask for your help if you were so inclined if you would please help us contact the governor, the congressman, all of our elected officials, and ask them to end this debacle that the state of Colorado created. Thank you.